for my body. Oh, fuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> whoop whoop that's the sound of the police huh, huh. that's the sound of the geese cokehead crackhead cokehead crackhead hey girl gang what up everybody it is so so good to see you guys on this sunday that doesn't even count like a sunday because we got another day <laughs> you know what i shouldn't have even that's rude um <clears throat> North America gets another day. Suck it, rest of the world. Enjoy your day at work tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> Such a dick. <laughs> I'm very sorry if you have to go to work tomorrow. Um, Have a great shift. Have a great day. We'll all be home. Mm. So this, considering it is a Friday, that is not a Friday. That back that a Sunday that is not like a Sunday. And your girlfriend, she just got home not too long ago. I thought, why not go live late? There are apparently two pretty, pretty, well, outrageous videos. One hilarious and one kind of shocking and maybe a little gross. I'm grossed out by the eating of the raw shrimps. I'll speak for myself. Uh yeah. So I didn't watch the Tuck Tuck video purposely. I, I waited, I heard. I saw a little clip on Twitter. <laughs> Once I stopped laughing, I was like, okay, no, I can't watch this one alone. I have to wait and watch with you guys. Um, hold on. Everything's frozen. All the chat. Is y'all chat? Actually, you know what? I'm going to ask now. Is yours chat frozen? But I can't see your answers because everything's frozen. Griff, uh, Griff Shepherd Daily. Hey, long time no see. How are you? Thank you for the super chat. Haven't managed to live in ages. Well, I'm so glad we went live at this kind of weird time, you know, and everyone who normally, let's say, uh, I don't know, you're on a different uh, time schedule, time zone, whatever the time may be, who can't join us regularly. It's cool that there's like, let's say names I haven't seen in a while, names that we don't usually see in the chat on the regular every night, you know, uh, good to see you guys, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, Moonsy Fox. Thank you for the super chat. That time and a half is going to be slick. Oh no. In the <laughs> Have a great shift. Keep your eye on the money. Keep your eye on the prize, you know? Oy, oy, oy. Okay. Okay. For some reason, StreamYard that usually dicks me around the entire stream is working, and my YouTube is completely frozen. Huh. Okay. Well, at least we can. I can see the, the main chat. There's, I guess, no side chat tonight. Oh, boy. If I get really behind... Forgive me in advance, okay? <laughs> All right. You know what? We won't even waste any time since I don't even have the chat. That, that's a shame. Oh, it's not the same vibe. I want to close my YouTube. Let's see if I reopen it. It's not the same. Oh, my God. It fixed it. I'm turning into fucking NASA. I swear to God. I fixed it. Ah, okay, great. We're back in business. I love side chat. I live for side chat. I was already a little like, wah, wah, that I wasn't going to get my side chat. But we're back. That's right. NASA, take notes. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Yeah, cool indeed. I didn't want to watch the Talk Duck video without side chat. It's going to be all about the side chat. Oh, you little mofos giving me the FOMO. FFG, my NASA skills are rubbing off on you. Alexandra K, you're not raw, girl. <laughs> NASA level? Got no glitter OG, you think so? Thanks. Appreciate it. Jen, you can't get rid of me, Frenchie. Beesh. <laughs> Chantal Shifty Eye Demon in the corner. BBJ is safe. Thank you for the super chat. Unless you don't get the time and a half, save me. In the arms of. <laughs> I shouldn't have been such a dick straight out. Listen, everybody who has to work tomorrow, have a great day. Hmm? I'm not going to. I'm going to say one more time, okay? We don't. Woo! <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'll, I'll stop gloating. Huh. Let me get the first jab and stop being a dick. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to start with the Tuck Tuck video. We're working in chronological order tonight, and it's not because I've been waiting a whole damn day to watch this video, and I can't wait anymore. 
<laughs> Alright, so today we're starting our day with some delicious Arabic food. We have a little salad here and pickles. Looks like some chili tomato sauce. We have some chicken on coal with rice, fries, and salad. And some chicken kebab with rice, fries, and salad. Bismillah. So these are just some random... So today would be, or when this would be filmed, let's say yesterday, no, two days ago now, would have been what, day four in Kuwait? Kuwait. Oh my God. <laughs> Forgive me in advance for everything I'm going to miss say tonight, okay? When this was filmed, it would have been what, day four in Thailand. Okay. By day four in Thailand, you're already back to eating Arabic food? Arab food. Hmm? Why? You got bored already? Tall Pete's won't eat anything. Tall Pete's is like stamping and having a little tantrum every time it's like time to eat something. Weird. I don't know. Eventually down the road, I don't think it's weird to get like, let's say Middle Eastern food because uh, you're in Thailand. You know, once you've been there long enough, I'd be like, hey, I wonder what you, what it's like, let's say in this country versus in Kuwait. I might be curious to try too. On day four, on day four, you've already become bored of what, pad thai? Is she just eating pad thai every day? God damn it. Uh. Clips uh, in my phone. We just thought this really old looking tree was really cool. And here's just me standing around as we're taking walks on the street. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos showing you guys just walking around. Whoa, whoa, wait, what the hell? What, what just happened there? Did that person just stop to gawk? I love it. Let's watch it again. On the street. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos showing you guys just walking <laughs> around the streets with random things and street food and stuff like that. And there's these little temples everywhere. And they're really cool. So we came across this uh, statue, this Buddhist... Um, Worship area, if you will. I'm not sure why there's water here. I really don't know if you're supposed to offer the water to the statue. <laughs> but people put their garbage here, which is very not cool. I don't know if they're offering. Oh, maybe they're offering water. <laughs> now, I know I know nothing about what's going on in that little display there and stuff. But okay, when when like logic tell you a full water with a straw in it a full juice thing with a straw in it like clean not garbage carefully put in the center of those things maybe there is oh that's a hindu shrine wow she's really fucking off okay when <laughs> she takes us on vacation our first international travels to get everything wrong uh that's right google it like do you not google shit before you but do you not ask anyone a question Oh, God. People put their garbage there. That's so not cool. Shut the fuck up. It's not garbage. It's an offering, you schmuck. Leave it alone. Oh, my God. She's... So, it's so, and she calls people uncultured swine. Can you... Girl, Google. I know you live your life in, like, Shmi's fucking early 90s weird charmuting time, but Google exists now. Google some shit. All the questions she asks, it's like, or, or the fuck ups, or that. I'm just gonna press play. Hello, Beezers. Oh, Did you know you can now request a personalized video from me on Cameo that you can keep forever and ever? Cameos make great birthday and special occasion gifts. Check the link in the description. Wow. Talk, tell me you're broke without telling me you're broke. You're so hard up and pushing these cameos. Look, it says a Thailand special edition. So like you'll be getting a cameo made in Thailand because either she has fuck all to do or she doesn't have any money. Okay. Description and get your cameo today. Can't wait to hear from you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. This is it. This is it. Everyone, everyone who's seen it, pretend like you haven't shut up. Everyone who hasn't. Okay. Brace yourselves. We might watch this like a few times. I'm just saying. Bubble Gum Pondu, thank you for the super chat. I had it was it was a weekend. <laughs> it only gets better from here. Has thank God we get a third day because those two certainly didn't count for shit. 
<sighs> but I'm, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope everyone else had a good weekend. <laughs> okay. I'm just taking this off for purity's sake. I want to see this in all of its glory. You know what? We might even fucking dance it. Na Nansa? Who's Nansa? Nasa enhance it. Let's just watch this. You know what? I'm putting her on normal speed. This is how important this is. <laughs> I want to see the struggle, the way the struggle was meant to be watched. Slow mode will be with Yabba. This is regular speed, all right? You okay? <laughs> That's so hard to oh, oh, no, no, no. You know we're not watching that once. I had to watch that once. Just to, Okay, now my jaw is picked up off the floor. Now I'm going to make my comments. <laughs> no. No. First of all, those sketchers aren't good for anything. Fucking, oh, I'm sorry, sketchers people. I know this offends you, but eat it, okay? Wait, it's it's like she's fucking uh, on a sheet of ice. Fuck, sketchers, you're good for nothing. There's no grip at all. There's no nothing. She's got no like leg strength at all. There, there's nothing. They're going like Jimmy legs, fucking just doing whatever the hell they want. And she's got that weird toddler pose with the two legs like straight out in front of her. It's amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Look at the weird look. First of all, her foot is completely sideways right now. And she's trying to scuttle sideways like a fucking crab on her bent foot. <laughs> Why? What? Did, uh, the toddler hasn't been taught yet how to walk. You want it again? Listen, we could make a stream just watching this over and over. I'm going to put this in the intro. I want to make the whole intro just this on a fucking loop. Get ready for tomorrow's intro. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> That's so hard to get into when you're short and chubby. When you're round. Excuse me. Excuse me. Short and chubby. Oh. How can you do that and then call yourself chubby? <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> I was like watching a fucking fish out of water, man. <laughs> chubby. That's what happens when you're short and chubby. <laughs> I'm short and obese, bitch. I can uh, like leg power myself to the other side of the duck duck on Adidas that have a little fucking grip to them. Damn. Get new shoes and do leg day, bitch. Leg day. You've got big legs. Just get the a little bit of strength. That was just insane. Beach sea lion vibes. No, no, but yes. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Yes. Fish out of water in a pool of butter. That's awesome. Yeah. The, the fact that this woman will call herself chubby always, always will make me laugh. The fact that this woman could struggle like that into a fucking top dog. <laughs> I'm just chubby. <laughs> I, I love how crazy this bitch is. Honest to God. Ah, oh, Tweety, thank you for the super chat. Whatever you do, please don't miss him moving her hand away from the bananas. I saw that clip on Twitter too. <laughs> we will get there. We will laugh. Is anyone else having a flashback with that sound? I'm going to play that sound one more time. Kind of close your eyes and take yourself back in Shantopolis. Where have we heard a sound kind of like that again uh, before?
Nothing to see here. You got it, Bish. <laughs> the Costco scooter. The dying fucking Costco scooter. That's what I thought of immediately when I heard that sound. This movie buff, you're right. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Oh my god, I think we're gonna die. Yeah, that sounded really sincere. If you thought you were really gonna die, oh my god, I think we're gonna die. When she thought there was somebody because she was cracked out in the house, Pete, Pete, and she's running out of the room, you know? Oh my god, we're gonna die. You don't sound too depressed about that. <laughs> You're safer right now being driven by this guy than you were any single one of the moments that you were in that fucking Kia. Hey guys, we are on the way to the Cat Cafe. And we are taking a tube tube for the first time and it's really scary and hard to get into, but it's an experience, so. Actually, I miss Julia, so uh, let's go and pet some cats. <laughs> Yella. Sir, you know you're not just going to see vaginas, right? Let's let's go pet some cats. Is that some kind of code? You fucking weirdo. It, it might be some kind of code. Are they going to a cat cafe? <laughs> Look at the way he's looking over the top of those sunglasses. Ew. <sighs> oh God, life by Gen 2.0. That's so sad. He's so creepy. He is so fucking creepy. Yeah, cat cafe. Because a documented animal abuser has to keep making fucking cat content. She's so bad at editing, in my opinion. I get what she's trying to pull here. You ever watch, I'm sure everyone's seen videos of like travel vlogging couples and stuff. A lot of them kind of do the same type of edits, the same looking ass videos. You know what I mean? I see that that's what she's trying to do with this edit. It's like a very, you know, like the, the first time one of those people ever edited one of their videos, you know? She's so bad at editing. For example, the way she's filming now, we see so much of the, the roof, but what really caught my attention was when she just flipped the camera onto the two of them and you just see her and him smiling. Why did she keep the camera on them for so long? And it's just there like plastic ass fake looking faces with that fake smile, each of them, you know? It's, it's, it's off. It's just bad. Uh, who are you trying to convince Pretty much, you know what I mean? Stop it. Stop it. You two could be smiling uh, in a 16-hour live stream, just sitting there smiling at each other. We still know you're not fucking. We still know he can't stand you. And we still know eventually he's going to dump your ass. Okay, Chantal, it doesn't change shit. <laughs> Leaving in and out. Like a sewing needle. <laughs> We're almost there, by the way. There's a nice breeze. Nice light. <laughs> and even this, like, okay, it, like, it's interesting. It's cool. I enjoyed the first minute of this. Uh, how long are you just going to leave in the driving route? I don't know. It's got to be filmed better. It's got to have different angles. There's got to be something that keeps people's interest. That's how all the other little vloggy couples do it and shit. But get on their level. Or at least try to, fuck. <laughs> Actually, I like these simple streets, by the way. 
it's very nice experience uh, to see these shops, stores, many restaurants and cafes, and these local areas. That's so cool. Oh my God, it's so cool to see all these things that we haven't seen them. We've just whizzed past them and the camera's not even aimed on them. So cool. Thanks for describing a salad. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Enjoy, girl. Oh, sweet Jesus. What a hilarious accidental pause that was. I was just going to be like, do you guys agree? Do you guys agree that it's just too much of this fucking tuck tuck footage? Like, you know, uh, Mandy, thank you again for the super chat girl, but I'm going to have to move for a second because goddamn, look what I just paused on by accident. <gasps> wow. Wow. <laughs> And there's the, the fucking skin above his knee again. Haram. <laughs> Jen! Jen! <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I have never felt so skinny in my entire life. Hang on, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, hang on. Ew. Stannable? <laughs> Ew. Thank you for the super chat. No, nothing will ever be that. So that could be even recreated at this point, And I wouldn't be shocked the way I was the first time I saw that. You know what I mean? The first thing of something always shocks the shit out of you. Whoa. Um, but when I read your super chat, why immediately did my brain go to, can you imagine her struggling into that tucked up naked uh, with the wig on, the red wig on and high on cocaine? It, exact scenario that was going on in the bathtub full of peeps thing. The only thing that's different is like the location and the action. <laughs> action. Oh my God. I just made myself sick. Having a ride by looks like it's an unbelievable ride. You got to try it. He's such a prick. The way you got to try it, and he smiles at the camera like, mm, you broke bitches will never try it. Mm, you're not in Thailand. Where's your fake wife taking you to Thailand? Mm, that's salad talking, you know? You're right, salad. I don't have a trip to Thailand, but I do have a Canadian citizenship. A bloop! <laughs> and no one had the fuck a death fat to get it, or pretend to anyway. Eh. I hope that person will be okay. I 
would love to see the, uh, this thing roll over like a massive fucking speed bump or pothole or something right now. And she goes flying up in the air. <laughs> Okay. What the fuck? No, excuse me. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Look at where that other foot is. Oh my God. She almost did the splits there getting out of that thing. Oh my God. She goes, oh, the other leg is back. <laughs> if she had fallen out of that thing right now, tumbles down because the other leg is back and then starts rolling down the street, I would fucking die. Okay. Yeah, it's like I said before, you need, leg muscles are so important in life. She couldn't physically, like, lower her leg down. She had to drag her fucking dead ass leg to get it down. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, guys, I just want to show you the currency of Thailand. So this here is 1,000 baht. All of them have the picture of the king on them of Thailand. So 1,000 baht, 500 baht, 100 baht, 20 baht, 10 baht, 5 baht. And this is the cutest thing ever. These are one baht. This is one baht. This is one baht. These little stickers, <laughs> these little stamps are one baht. This is currency. Here in Thailand. I can't believe that. So cute. My favorite hobby to collect the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Patricia Thomas, what are you talking about? Was that some joke that just went over my head or something? I'm so confused. Why would he say that? Is he being sincere? But then he giggled. I'm confused. I'm, me looking at the chat like for some kind of an explanation. <laughs> Let's listen to it again. Maybe it'll jog someone's memory. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's from a movie. Or, oh, yeah, that's something. Bot. This is currency here in Thailand. I can't believe that. So cute. My favorite hobby to collect the stamps. <laughs> 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 what, what is this <laughs> i'm so minions minions on the stamp but is that what is this like a reference i'm so fucking confused does he really collect stamps i i don't even know what what's the joke why is he giggling like it is he high they are in thailand the, okay, we the giggle. I, I'm not. You can't read too much into it. Maybe there's some weed going on. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Why would he? Why? Okay. Okay. Why would she leave that part in the video? Even if he said it. Okay. My favorite movie to collect the stamps. What? No, he said. Didn't he say my favorite like activity is to collect stamps? How did I forget? We just heard it twice. My God, my memory. Let's listen to it a third time. My favorite hobby to collect the stamps. <laughs> my favorite hobby to collect the stamps. Okay, what if we put that in Google? What's it gonna give us? My <laughs> hobby to collect the stamps. <laughs> Nope, just a bunch of uh, fucking, my hobby is stamp collecting. Um, I don't think that's like a reference. I just think he's fucking batshit crazy. That's not, a, it's not a joke. Why would she leave that in? Hobbies are out of, oh man. Uh, what, uh, that was an attempt at a joke? <sighs> hey, it's D, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> well, swing and a miss, Salad. 
I'd say don't quit your day job, but loop. <laughs> <laughs> it has 7-Eleven on so it. So this one bot is only used at 7-Eleven. All right, folks, that's it. Oh, so it's not really like a currency. It's like if a specific store has, okay, okay, okay. You know, like in Canada, anyway, we have a Canadian tire. I haven't seen, I don't know if they stopped this a while ago, but we used to have something here called Canadian Tire Money. And every time you'd buy something at Canadian Tire, they'd give you like paper bills, but it was worth cents or like a dollar if you really spent the Canadian Tire, you know? And every Canadian had like a little stack of Canadian Tire Money going. Everyone, it was such a fucking thing, you know? That's not really currency. That's the equivalent of a fucking Canadian Tire Money because you can only use it at 7-Eleven stupid but for now thank you for watching me trying the tuk tuk for the first time here in bangkok and thailand quite an experience and hey i would whoa 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 shannon shannon <laughs> shannon says they still have canadian tire money i've i've bought a shit ton of stuff at canadian tire you know i haven't gotten canadian tire money in ages why aren't they giving it to me Shannon, Shannon, is this a conspiracy or maybe they stopped in Montreal? <laughs> I want to try FFG's Tuck Tuck. Um, um, <laughs> is that some kind of sexual innuendo? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't have a Tuck Tuck and you don't want to be driving. I mean, you might want to be driving passenger in my car, but fair warning. I drive like a fucking lunatic. You won't die. I'm a good driver, but it's very aggressive. <laughs> I wouldn't shy away from trying it again. And I might use it as a means of transportation. See you in the next video. Bye, guys. Okay, that was horrific, except for, of course, the getting in and getting out. <laughs> that video was awful. Frenchie, they're flirting with you? Wow. Okay, Jen, that went right over my head. That's why I was like, is that like a sexual innuendo thing? Hmm. Usually when I can't understand something, that's what it is. It's either from like <laughs> Game of uh, Game of Thrones or it's a sexual innuendo because I don't know shit about that. And the sexual innuendo ones go over my head. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> this is a crazy street. This feels like a Friday to me. I'm so tired. My brain is barely functioning. I'm, oh, I just want to keep laughing. It's like, it's like a Friday. It's like a Saturday, really. Unless you have to work tomorrow. I'm so sorry, everyone. Eh, let me just get the other death. Get out of here, shot doll. Get out of here. Um, I want to make an intro just, just for a one day only, okay? One day only intro. And it's just Chantal struggling getting in. That that shuffle, that weird side crab thing she did. The entire intro is just that on a loop. It might happen. Don't give me lip if it happens, okay? Let's get the other tab now. Uh, this one, uh, trigger warning maybe before a little bit. The video is uh, trying street food at Jod Ferris Night Market, Bangkok. Okay, there, She's going to try something called flying shrimp. The shrimp is apparently still alive. She's going to eat apparently still alive jumping for their lives shrimp okay little little shrimps if you're not down for that kind of thing understandable if you're nasty like I, i'm just, i'm so curious they are alive oh my god it's a common thing okay okay fine i don't i don't know what to say this is one of those like it's, a, I guess, a cultural thing or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to, like, shit on anyone else's culture. I'm just going to say it's not for me, but I'm down to watch. I'm very curious anyway, but just, like, baseline, ugh, you know what I mean? You you guys already know how I feel about sushi. It's dead. It's just raw. Can you imagine it's raw and it's dead and it's jumping? Not my thing. But, again, I'm here for it. I really, I'm curious. So let me get the tab. If you're not down, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I, I get it. <laughs> Look how it starts. This is the face we get as it starts. She doesn't want it. What? 
oh, because the other food vloggers would have done it. I'm like, why'd you buy it? Don't worry, FFG, it's not dead. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> oh, no. Shelby, thank you for the super chat, girl. She, she does. She does. Their little legs stick out straight, too. How come... Is it a death fat thing? Is there a certain weight where you can't bend the knee to sit down? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, these are questions for another night. Let me just press play and shut the hell up. They keep. I can feel them jumping, and they're jumping all over. Okay. Oh, it's alive. <laughs> oh, this Hi, guys. I'm here at Jod Fairs in Bangkok, one of the newest night markets here in Bangkok. There's tons of food here, so I came hungry. We're going to explore try different foods so yellow let's go she's wearing a microphone oh my god look at the food vlogger hmm? on her couple's channel or with her mans at least with her little microphone and her massive backpack and way too much makeup to be in such a sweaty place because all I see is sweat and that fucking red lipstick and those yellow ass teeth. And I'm only saying yellow because of that horrible red lipstick. Whew. Wow. What a mess. Oh, look at the way her shirt is like pulled back and stuff. Fucking fix yourself, bitch. You're about to start this vlog. Like, look at yourself in the mirror. Pull your goddamn shirt forward. Why? It's like, it, it looks like it's going back to choke her. Fuck. Look where, like, the pocket of the shirt is. Is that a pocket? Or just the seam? It's, it's like riding up into her armpit. Oh, fucking hell. I'm already annoyed. We're 31 seconds into this. <laughs> Okay, what am I going to try first? This is very popular here, Ice Coke. Awesome. Yeah. Can I have one, please? Oh, no. The shitbox is striking. Wait a minute. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. Lots of ice. Just how I love it. <laughs> Your favorite, huh? Yes. Just take a straw. I love these little bags. Thank you. I want to try that. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. That's riveting to me. Fine. Try it. Yeah. The, the, this is, it's a weird face. It's a weird face. Oh my God. Makes the Coke slush. So much plastic. Always so much plastic. The way she put the like cha-ching noise in as she put the price up and stuff. What? Eating squid is totally haram? Why? Why squid? Why single out squid? It's not a shellfish technically. No, it's not even, I'm, I'm thinking like shrimp. Why? Yeah. I'm waiting my turn to buy some jumping shrimp. Basically eating shrimp alive. Uh, medium spicy, please. So these shrimp are alive, guys, from the aquarium here. They're not going to be killed. <laughs> okay. You're going to try this one, dude? Yeah, yeah. I'm brave. <laughs> a jumping shrimp? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Puts a little bit in the stuff and then put in the shrimps and just like shakes it up. 
<gasps> oh my god. It doesn't have gills and scales. There's a mm. Does a shrimp have gills? I am confused. It probably does, and that's how they can classify it as a fish. Okay. No, sorry. Extra toe floppy tits pondu. Thank you for the super chat. PDAs aren't uh, illegal in Thailand. Why no kiss hug? Because I, I've been saying she'll find the excuse. When they're in Kuwait, it's, well, we're in an Islamic country or whatever, a Muslim-dominated country, whatever, whatever. When they leave, it's like, well, wherever we go, our religion comes with us. And, the you know, we're, we're not going to, like, show our PDA or whatever because it's against the religion wherever we go. Same bullshit. She, she's never going to do it. I don't know. Not all sea. Wait. No all seafood is halal? I thought lobsters are not. I thought shrimps is only because they technically don't classify it as a uh, heart. What do you call it? Ah, fuck. Shellfish. Huh. Thank you. They're still moving. You see them? Yeah. Jumping. They're jumping. All right. What I'm freaking hell? out. Sell it for the love of God. You have one job. You're holding the camera. There's like shrimps jumping around in that fucking plastic thing. Put the camera closer. For once, I'll never say that again on this channel. There's something I'm curious. I want to see this. Why don't you show us? It's the point of this whole fucking video. Show us. Show us. I should probably be more outraged about this. I'm sorry that I'm not. It's just a very common thing there. I'm, I'm you know, I'm more curious than outraged, I guess. You can stun them with the sauce um, like that. Okay. Listen. Stun them with the sauce like that? I think they're stunned because you just slammed them into the all the edges of that co uh, container, you know, do, 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 like shaking it around. Lobster is not halal. That's what I'm saying. Rest in peace. They're still moving. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Why would you order something that you're so scared of? You're like literally huh, on the street. <laughs> Food poisoning bees. Hmm. I wonder. I know this is psychotic, maybe to say, but if you eat them alive, at least you know they're still alive. You know, as opposed to like getting a bad fish, getting food poisoning or whatever. And these ones, you knew they were healthy. They were swimming. Maybe you won't get sick. Savannah Pundu, thank you for the super chat. She certainly does. And he wishes he was back at the Red Room, you know, petting one that he actually is attracted to. Bloop. Emma, thank you for the super chat. Surprised that Tuck Tuck didn't tip on a sharp turn. Oh, shit. I'm curious because that other Tuck Tuck had been like, hell no, bitch. You know what I mean? How much did they pay this one to accept, you know, the ride and the damage to the Tuck Tuck and all the wasted gas? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. They keep I can feel them jumping and they're jumping all over. Okay. Go for it. Oh, it's alive. Try. Oh, this Mila. I can't, I can't. What's this like? Actually, it's a good flavor. Very lemony, citrusy. Um, the thing that weirds me out is them moving, and their little legs are sharp, or their shell. Great job, babe. I will try it. But um, that was an experience. They're not actually. Ah, that's okay. That's freaking me out. She likes. She she would eat it. It's still food. She's gonna fucking eat it. Those shrimp were farmed and fed pork. Oh, no. She swallowed her food like a dog, so she won't know the difference. I mean, you're right. 
This is making your stomach turn. I, why is it not me? I don't know. I'm riveted. I would never in a million years eat this, but I'm riveted. I can't believe she ate it. Yeah, culture or not, I mean, I don't know. I enjoy learning and trying other things from other cultures, but you pick and choose, you know, this is not for me. Actually, not that bad. I think I'm going to wait for them to die before I eat anymore, but... I would never try it in my life. <laughs> don't mind me being sweaty, guys. It's humid in Bangkok. I'm going to try this. I don't... Yeah, tall Pete's. We know you would never try it in your life. Fucking pad Thai was too like outside the box for you. I don't usually like squid that much. I'm gonna try some fried squid. Okay. Uh, one this, please. Oh. Yeah, this one. What? Yeah. Okay. Is there sauce for it? I think it's spicy, right? No. Not spicy. Oh. Not spicy enough. Okay, again, you guys have been squid is haram. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea. Okay. Does it come with sauce? Okay. Fresh squid. Oh, cool. How much? That's really interesting. So I go to Google and I Google is squid haram. The first thing that pops up says that it's haram. The second thing says that it's halal. What do you believe? You know, I, I, I don't know. Huh. Squid is not a fish. They will be considered haram under the Hanafi school. I don't know what that is. Is that like what he fall? I don't freaking know. You know what I mean? Hmm. It might just depend on the sect. Yeah, that's what it seems to. And I... Wait, we could find... Wait, wait. Squids aren't bottom feeders? Hanafi is just on School of Islam. I'm so confused. I'm also so tired, so I'm wondering if I'm understanding this badly because of how tired I am. Maybe if I was, you know what I mean? Like, earlier in the day, maybe I would get it more? Hmm. A little bit of information for travelers who may want to visit job fairs. It's actually located near Roman 9 MRT Station, and it's open every day from 4 p.m. until midnight. This is popular. These banana cakes. You would love that. You want to try one? Sure, why not? So in most food markets we've been to in Bangkok, we've seen insects, and they are a very important and popular source of protein here in Thailand. Now they're not halal so I will not be trying any unfortunately or else I you know I'd be brave enough to I think. So we're gonna get banana. Very popular. Oh, yeah. Guys I'm sorry I'm also so behind on the chat because it keeps freezing. Every time it unfreezes I only get it for a couple of minutes. This uh the Kraman Chantal's eye thank you for the super chat. Uh, can I have a banana, please? Yeah. I think this is it. This looks like what I saw on Twitter. Okay. Watch the trotters. Did you just see what he did? 
<laughs> no, no, he didn't smack her hand. This is even like funnier and more awkward somehow. The weird way that he like picks up her finger and slides it along. <laughs> Don't touch those bananas. It's so awkward. <laughs> Why did he do it like that? It's so weird. He pinched her fat. He's just, a, it's the weirdest way. Like a husband, to, you know what I mean? Even if it did move her finger away from, you know, their setup, like, like don't touch where they're preparing the food. Maybe, I don't know. You know, it's just the weirdest way to move someone's finger away. Oh no. We need to see that one again. <laughs> it's the way he grabs it it's so stupid he, it's, he looks i don't know why you think that's abusive it was mean huh you see it like that i see it he's so fucking awkward to me i don't see it like that i see it as an awkward motherfucker who has rarely touched a woman outside of the red room you know what i mean has no way of interacting with them at all it is weird yeah, that is awkward to me it was aggressive i gotta tell you guys i like I, i'm not trying to shit on the way y'all see it at all but i don't see it like that at all I get awkward. You know, like everything he does is a little awkward and a little fucking weird. And stuff. That's what it's giving me anyway. Uh, Katie L, thank you for the super chat. Looks so nice. Oh yeah, okay. I gotta say, I don't even like bananas. That thing looks really, really good. I am also baked right now, but I would fuck that thing up. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. So it's called banana. Okay, I just came up with a high recipe, but it's totally just ripping this thing off. But I, I I'm not making a fucking crepe. What do I look like, Grace? What if you made a grilled cheese sandwich, but there was no cheese in it? It's fucking banana slices. <gasps> a hot, buttery banana sandwich sounds really good, and I don't even eat bananas, but I'm baked. You can't deny that sounds fucking awesome right now. Mm. Okay, who wants to go halves on a fucking banana sandwich? Banana pancake. <laughs> So fresh. No, no, I'm sorry. I add nothing. You can add what you want to your banana sandwich, your banana grilled cheese, okay? I just want it like that. I want the hot banana and the hot bread right now. That sounds amazing. Hello, oil. And that is a lot of oil. Yeah. I don't think that crepe really absorbs it, though. So there's that. Hey, Luna, thank you for the super chat, girl. No, why'd you cut it? Don't cut it. I'm not cutting my, if I made that, I'm not cutting it. It looked like a big ass piece of matzo. Ooh, matzo with banana stuffed in it, bitch. All this stuff sounds good. <laughs> um, Listen, it looks like a matzo. I want to eat it like a big ass piece of matzo. Wait, Fatima L, hold on. Hold on. I thought I was the one who's hot. You're like, everything looks good. Hard disagree. And this is coming from me. Baked out of my mind. I don't mind. I'm, I'm nice and toasted right now, okay? No, <laughs> not everything looks good. This is the first thing that looks good to me. 
You think those flying shrimp uh, fucking things look good? Would you eat the flying shrimp things? I don't know. Needs Nutella. Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck Nutella. Nutella ruins things. Why does everyone like Nutella so damn much? It sucks. Thank you, food. Banana pancake with condensed milk drizzled on top. Yummy. I like condensed milk, but I hate when people put it on shit like that. You know what? You went out of your way to fry this banana thing. Nice and crispy. Eh? And then you liquid it down with the fucking condensed milk. Now it's mush again. What was the point of frying it? Hey guys, we found a restaurant to sit down. Uh, there's like, it's so busy here. It's Saturday. There's nowhere to sit. <laughs> so we uh, bought something small here, just a side of mashed potatoes because it's not allowed here. So I'm going to show you what I have so far. This is a Thai banana pancake with bananas inside, as you saw how it was made with condensed milk. Oh my God. Excuse me, how dare you in the chat? Uh, FFG is the worst fatty. I'm the best fatty. You got to think about it. Because when you combine the power of fatty with the power of stoner, you come up with the power of coming up with like the grilled cheese banana sandwich. Hmm? Nobody who's not high would have ever come up with that shit. A lot of the crap... You know those uncrustable sandwiches? You cannot convince me that a not high person came up with that shit. You know damn right, like I know damn right, that's a stoner. And a lot of good shit that we end up with and the stuff we eat, it's thanks to fatty stoners, all right? So shut up. <laughs> oh my God. Light, flaky, not too sweet, but very good. Here, try this. Here's that squid on a stick. I don't know what these sauces are, but let's try it. Oh, actually, you know what? I take it back. That squid looks good too, but I like squid. I mean, if you're if you're not a squid person, you're not gonna think that looks good, you know? I do. Yulia, that beach. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, the belly is keeping her from sitting up straight, and maybe also from bending the legs. I suppose makes sense. That's sad. <laughs> Mm. It must be very fresh. I don't usually like squid. Must be very fresh. Shut up. That's good. Are you gonna try the mashed potato? By the way, I forgot to address uh, this video, unfortunately, was after she made an edit to it. The, she had uploaded this video and then it was edited down and there was a few seconds missing from the video. And people were like, well, well what did she edit out? Apparently she ate a corn dog stuffed with cheese. And there's two trains of thought of why she had to delete that part of the video. Number one. She's claiming in the going back and forth with someone in the comments that the chewing noises were unacceptable. It was just so disgusting. She had to edit it out. I don't believe that for a second because all of her chewing noises are fucking unacceptable, disgusting, and should be edited out. So why would you go out of your way to edit that little piece out? My second theory is that it was not a halal hot dog at all. It was just a fucking regular nasty fucking hot dog. And she didn't bother looking, or maybe she did, but cosplay, right? Doesn't matter. She wanted that fucking hot dog. I have a feeling maybe that's what really happened. Mm. <laughs> it's the only thing we could find here that was uh, halal. The banana pancake. Very sweet. Extremely yummy. Very good, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love it too. Mm. I love it too. And he like looks up at her like, bitch, let me eat something for once. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, salam. <laughs> Hi. 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 Those shrimp look so good. 
What's this, babe? This is squid. Whoa. So you're supposed to eat the squid alive. It's called a squid shot. Alive? Yeah. Okay. Why didn't she do that one? You just ate some fucking live shrimp. Might as well try the squid too. Oh my God. It wasn't a hot dog. It was cheese. The whole thing was cheese. Eh, I thought it was one of those like hot, half hot dog, half cheese things. Okay, fine. I take it back. Maybe it really was the nasty chewing sounds. Ugh. Unless there's something else. Somebody probably got that video. I wonder what the reason is. Oh, damn it. It was just a cheese. Wait, a cheese hot dog. So no actual hot dog involved, just a cheese stick bug? Huh. Don't fight you Wolf, yeah, thank you for the super chat. You know what? Magical Cannibalist, thank you for the super chat. Eh, they might both really have a good time. Why the hell not? You only live once. Bees and live bees. Yeah, you're on vacation. You smoke a little J. Ah, you eat a little fucking live uh, shrimp. Eh, there you go. Get him a side. What? So what? Who cares? All right, I want to get a corn dog mozzarella cheese. I've been craving one, so um, can I have a mozzarella cheese corn dog? Oh, wait, this is the fucking corn dog thing? Now I'm more confused than ever. Did I have the version before she edited it? Huh? I was like, someone must have it. I guess we do. <laughs> Number three. Uh, number three, just cheese. Thank you. Ah, uh, just cheese. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. Everybody pay attention. We have to figure out why the fuck she deleted this part of the video. <laughs> it was in the Tuck Up video? She ate a pack of cheese hot dogs from the 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Again, I haven't watched any of this and I was not around for the past two days, really. So the deleted thing wasn't this hot dog. It's the other video and there was an actual hot dog involved. An actual hot dog. Like cheese and, and meats. Hmm. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm gonna try and find that clip that's missing and we will watch that tomorrow. And figure out, did she eat a fucking pork hot dog? Or was it the nasty sounds? Bag of hot dogs? Excuse me? Five of them? Oh, all the hair on my arms just stood up. Fucking hell. Okay, if you're eating a full-ass pack of dicks in a 7-Eleven, I'm throwing a third option into the mix of why it was deleted. Maybe it came off as... I would say erotic, but nothing she ever does is phallic. Was it like she was just fucking eating a bag of dicks? <laughs> maybe that, maybe salad told her, hey, Harami delete. Chris, listen, Chantal, I'm sure people in your life, you've heard eat a bag of dicks a million fucking times, you rabid bitch. Okay. But people don't mean it literally. Chill. <laughs> Oh, they were mini hot dogs, not even full size. That's cute. I get. I well, she didn't want to make salad feel insecure. I suppose. <laughs> This fucking 
fucking music. Shmi in the early 90s? What is this? How do you go through music? And yeah, yeah, that's the one. I need this in my travel vlog. See, remember when I was saying she's like, she's watching the travel vloggers, but she's not doing it right? Again, one of those things not being done right. Hey, Red Plaid. Um, sure. Uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of both. Yeah, both. Spicy and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it. Oh. Um, I'll have some cheese on it. Yeah. Super cheesy. <laughs> So she just ordered like a cheese stick battered and fried. And then when they ask her what she wants on the outside, she gets cheese. It's already cheese. What the fuck? Thank you. Look at this cheesy corn dog cheese sauce. All right, let me try it. No cheese, bro. Let's try again. Oh, she was mad there. Did you see her eyes for a second? Like, hey, I bought this fucking thing for my <laughs> travel couple with a couple's channel or whatever. I need a goddamn cheese pole. It's for the video. She looked really mad at the hot dog. <laughs> No cheese bowl, but still very tasty. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for coming along to Jod Fair Market. I had a lot of fun, even though it was super crowded. That was a little uncomfortable for us, but it was worth it to try some food. I also did try something else that I'm going to have another video for separate. It deserves its own video, so. Oh, God, what the hell does that mean? If these eating live, jumping around ass shrimps didn't get their own video, what the hell gets its own video? Anybody have any ideas? Hmm. I, what? These nuts, what? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Sierra, you got it. Get, you're so clever, Durian. It's gotta be. <gasps> Oh my God. Is she going to eat it? She's going to eat it. She's going to like it. She tried durian. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Oh, you smart. You smart. You guys are smart. I'm excited for that video. I want to see fucking tall piece losing his shit over the smell. She's like, you just hear him gagging. You know, my gag sound. He's going to be the one in the background fucking gagging and she's going to eat it. Mm, it's good guys. I like it. You guys. Oh, my pleasure, Cecily Wolfcat. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, Tom Peets, shut up. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Thank you for following us on our journey here in, in Bangkok, Thailand. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Wow. I don't even know what to make of what we just watched. I loved the first video. The second video was meh, just like most of them. But it's, listen. Still, it's better than just being locked in an apartment somewhere, stuffing your face, sitting on the floor, eating off a computer uh, box. Okay, this I, there was she, she ate fucking raw shrimp, raw live live jumping shrimp. That's interesting. That pancake full of bananas gave me what I think might be one of my greatest stoner creations of all time. Unfortunately, I don't have a bananas, or I would have found out in about ten minutes from now. Fuck <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Well, I'll get back to you on how the banana thing works out. Okay, the first video was good. The struggle, really good. Second, not good. Combination uh, score for the two videos, I'm going to give today a 6 out of 10. Still better than yesterday, Chantal. It's an improvement. We like an improvement. But lean into that first video. Do more of that shit. Get some more sketchers. They're amazing shoes. <laughs> Coffee, tea, and re. Thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, Frenchie, I was thinking of you last night. I'm a flight attendant registered nurse. 
RN. I hope that's, I hope that's what it is. Okay. Uh, and we had an overnight in Montreal. Hey, hey, our hotel was right by the Ottawa Gatineau exit. Okay. That's so interesting, girl. Well, I hope, I guess you didn't really do much in Montreal, but I hope you had a nice stay in Montreal, eh? Oh, huh. Beatus shoes. I just, I don't know what, well, oh no, I think they're from like fucking, oh, what's that? Pennington's, isn't it? I was like, I don't know what's with her and the Skechers, but I do think she got this pair and the other pair at Pennington's. So Skechers must make wide for fatty, like line of shoes. Cause why else would they like just sell that at, 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 at... <laughs> Pennington's fuck. <laughs> oh my God. I kept wanting to say pay less because that's where they belong. Okay. What the fuck pieces of shit. Sketchers make extra wide. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. She's worn this pair every day in Thailand. Oh, this is the only pair she has, Laura. I'm saying her previous pair that she just they were so disgusting, she had to get herself a second one, you know? Just saying. Wide width, yeah. Yeah, FFG Skechers has extra wide width for men and women's shoes. Okay. Never heard of extra wide? I've only heard of wide shoes. But in sneakers, like, I, I've, I've never seen, I don't think, wide sneakers. I don't know. There's just, you know, like, there's different, like, uh, styles of, of sneakers you know like you get like the american nikes they tend to be wider you get like um i don't know uh, nike uh not Nike. oh my god uh, the like adidas superstars or pumas and stuff they're a little more narrow you know what i mean they call them ww those are like the extra wide huh interesting torrid is wide too Okay. So that's why she's stuck with the Skechers. That's a shame. <laughs> because of that video, you know that that's a shame. Extra wide is a thing. Hubby is Fred Flintstone feet. <laughs> that's kind of cute. Sneakers come in wide and extra wide. Okay. Wide width. WW. Ah, the dildo. Okay. Frenchie is baked. Frenchie is exhausted. <laughs> I am big. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But I mean, uh, not let's say more than usual. I have barely slept four hours in the past two days. Like combined. It's delirious at this point. But I couldn't wait to watch. I really wanted to watch the videos. So I'm like, fuck. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. We're going live tonight. I If I if we didn't go live tonight, I would have caved and watched the video alone. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> the crumb on Chantel's eye. Thank you for the super chat. What kind of nightmare do you have to be in your last life to come back as a shrimp that dies being chewed to death in that mouth? It's true. Wow, what a horrific way to go. You're right. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, anyway. It was interesting. I said, I'm not like regretting that I watched it. You know, I found it interesting, but no. No. <laughs> Frankie Fish, thank you for the super chat. There are actual people there. Yeah, it's true. Oh, my God. I'm so out of it. I didn't even, like, notice. Yes. This is the first time there's been actual people around and lots of people around. And she did it anyway. And she fucking, you know, good for, I, because of that, I will say good for her. She wasn't so shifty. She wasn't so whatever, but she did it. So disrespectful the way they beat the floor on their lives. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wait, the way they fell on the floor on their lives. Okay, I couldn't see the end. Yeah. I, I got the vibe when she first opened it and they were all jumping out that she was like purposely hoping every single one was going to jump out and she would just grab a bit of like, you know, the like dressing and the, the veg that was in there. She was hoping for that, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. She'd do anything for food. Yeah. Yeah, she certainly would. But this was an experience, you know what I mean? Skinnies would try this too. I, uh, you know, if if you got, if you can do it. Some people try crickets and shit. I've heard of people eating that. I I, I wouldn't. 
I, I, I can't do that either. You know what I mean? But like bees and let bees. I know. Listen, hippies, don't start with your shit in the chat. And eh, they have so much protein. There's more protein in a cricket than in a fucking burger. You're probably right. I don't fucking care. Don't start fucking hippie babbling me. Okay, please. <laughs> eat your crickets. I'll eat the burgers. Bees and let bees. Oh my God. <laughs> Here comes the cricket agenda. It's coming. It's a delicacy in some countries. Oh my God. I know. I know. I'm kidding. Sort of. Uh, Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat. Some eat worms and insects. I'm Scandinavian. We have some food customs that gag people. So, oh, girl, is it that fish in the can that smells like a dead body? Because, yeah, oh, I'm, I kind of want to, sm- I don't know, try is, you know, but I want to smell that fish out of the can. Apparently, it smells like a dead body in that can. When you open the can, you want to vomit just smelling it. I'm so curious. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Oh, Janet Pirate, I knew it. It had to be. What else could it be but that fish in the can thing? Oh, my God. Have you ever had it? Oh, my God. Do you enjoy it? It's not just had it. Do you, like, regularly, like, open the can, and when you smell it, you're like, ooh, I'm going to eat that fish in the can. Do you like that fish in the can? Hmm. I don't know. If I'm dying, I will eat whatever to keep me alive. Good point. Janine Pondu, that is a good point. Some people eat people to survive at the end. You know what I mean? When it comes down to it, that's a different story. I would be stuffing my face with the crickets if I was dying and there was no other choice. Fortunate for me over, uh, fortunately for me over here in the Western world, I can just go to fucking Provigo and get something to eat. You know what I mean? Unless I get lo- like stuck on a fucking deserted island and even then I'd be trying to stab at fish. <laughs> just take me to the water and I'll open my mouth. Whatever goes in, I'm cool. I will eat anything that swims. Don't start with like, would you eat an alligator? Would you eat it? No, you know what I mean. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Mommy doesn't have any patience for your fucking bullshits tonight. All right, chat, listen. Oh my God. The semen in Chantal's world. I'm sorry, I'm so behind in the chat and that's real time, but I just saw your name. Who called me, bitch? No one. <laughs> Are you insane? Nem, I would 100% curvy the ocean. Oh my God. 100%. Just take me in there. You know? Oh, delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, Jay Frankie. Thank you for the super chat. The live shrimp are reminding her of Koki's cooking. Oh no. (laughs) You're right. Not only is the food fucking raw, but it's jumping around like a crackhead while it's being made, you know? Oh no. Magical cannibalist. Thank you again for the super chat. She went down on Koki. Jumping shrimp is the least of her worries. Oh my God. You're right. Everything in life is about perspective and you just gave me some on this situation. You're right. You are right. Nothing should, shouldn't be afraid of putting anything in that nasty mouth now. Ew. What? Share bear. Frenchie, you going to love raw fish? It's great. Okay. Okay. Great or not. No. <laughs> Thunder Rain, thank you for the super chat. Is it weird that I would be eager to try a bug? I mean, no. Bees and let bees. You know what I mean? To each their own. I'm just saying it's not my thing. You know, I bet a, a lot of my things people would find disgusting. You know, one specific one, tarama. It's a Greek, it's made from like fish eggs. It's a Greek thing. It is so fucking delicious. It's like pink, pink color. So many people are so grossed out by it. They look at it, they go like, oh, what is that? And when you tell them what it is and what it's made of, like, oh, you know? Oh my God. I would, if that was on a floor, I would lick it off the floor. I love that shit so much. So yeah, bees and let bees. Everybody has their own taste, you know? I'm just saying, I'm not eating bugs and shit. Uh uh-uh. uh. No thanks. <laughs> but I'll lick that off the floor any day. <laughs> Tarama is the best thing on the planet. I mean, it's up there for me too. Tarama is, if it's not my favorite food, it's like my second favorite food for sure. You know, there's not too much that good mm, in the world. If you, anybody who hasn't tried it and you get a chance to try it and you're in a good place because it has to be made well, you know, fucking try it. Delicious. 
Jojo, you're not a seafood fan? That's fine by me. It just means there's more shit in the ocean for me to eat. Mm? <laughs> you stick with the walkies. I'm going to stick with the swimmies. <laughs> bees and let bees. See, bees and let bees means that the earth is in balance. The universe balances out. We can't all be siphoning all the fucking seafood out of the sea. God, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tarama is delicious. Agreed. Most of you guys love bacon, okay? I don't fuck with the bacon. That just means there's more bacon for you. And you know, if my fat ass was included in it, there would be a hell of a lot less bacon for you guys. So be thankful. Bees and let peace. My seafood is your bacon. How's that? The dildo. Thank you for the super chat. Inject a crunchy churro with hot condensed milk. Yeah, that's different. That sounds fucking delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That the pancake thing just looked like it got all soggy because they had put the condensed milk on it. You know what I mean? It's like, no, you're ruining it. It looked so good. Stoner logic, Patricia. Sometimes stoners have the best logic. Sometimes <laughs> we could just have a whole like philosophy stream where we just if you participate i'm not encouraging anyone who doesn't to do it bees and let bees if you enjoy the devil's lettuce we get nice and lettuced up and then we talk some life philosophy and talk about the world not like fucking stupid some stupid kids getting high good stuff good things in life that are fucked up now you know those things i would love that that's a twitch thing we'll do that on twitch capricorn nj thank you for the super chat FG, you need to watch the people in the background. It looks like a woman. I saw the woman to like either filming her or her taking a picture of her. But yeah, yeah. Some of the background characters were pretty, pretty funny in these videos. The two uh, guys on the like mopeds who almost crashed because they had to stop to find Gawk in her. Oh my God. I love a Gawk and stop. Okay, that was the like the most blatant one I've ever seen. The second guy almost slams into the first guy. He's also just like whoosh his neck like turns, you know. And she just she kept doing it anyway. So good for her. Banana in an egg roll wrapper would be similar. It would be, and you could make it a little bite size. I like that. Nothing wrong with that. How do you spell tarama? T a r a m a. It's tarama salata, but if you put in tarama, it'll come up anyway. Uh, Raven Lunatic, thank you for the super chat. The mozzarella stick was cooked in oil that was used for other things. Ooh, that's a good point. That is a really good point. If they're selling ones, and they are, because she specifically said just cheese. So there's porky hot dogs going on in there. And then her cheese thing goes in there. Wouldn't that make hers no longer halal? Seems like you've tainted the, the chain there, huh? That is a great point. Huh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Cross-contamination. That's it. Well, I'm having like something to... That is definitely a thing. Because wasn't there a whole thing about like... Oh, no, that's vegetarians. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the fucking impossible burger at Burger King cooked on the same fucking filthy shit that the other burgers are. Yeah, it's not It's not vegetarian anymore. Dr. Now is the goat. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I won't argue that. Oh, my God. I mean, Salad didn't try to correct her. Did he realize, like, that it was happening? I wonder. I'm not sure. I would have to rewatch that part with this in mind now you know what i mean i want to see like does, does he even fucking realize maybe he was gawking at some good looking women you didn't even see what the fuck she was buying who knows oh dr now is the goat thank you again for the super chat i forgot to write the damn message my big ass welcome to the club uh i was gonna say can someone please pay for a thailand cameo over eating a 500 milligram edible with salad oh that would be fucking great she'll never do it but i love the idea oh can you imagine? <laughs> I really, really want to see him baked. Suddenly he would eat the pad thai, you know, you know, but complain about it during every bite, like I do all the time. <laughs> the, exactly. The semen in Chantal's fault. Nobody called you. What are you talking about? What? 
<laughs> Thank you for the super chat. But bleh. I love the picture you chose, though. The pic She's wearing that top, that fucking top. I love that top. And the guts up on the counter. I mean, mwah, chef's fucking kiss. <laughs> Coach Mummy, thank you for the super chat. Hey, FFG, I'd rather play cricket than eat one. Same. And I don't, like, really want to play cricket either, but same, you know? <laughs> I had pad thai tonight. It's noodles. It was amazing, right? That's what I was saying when we were watching them, the, the pad thai video. Like, how can you be that offended by pad thai? It's so unoffensive. It, even if you don't like it, wouldn't the worst be like, yeah, no, it's not for me. He was like, no, no, I'm never going to eat that again. As I, as if it was those fucking <laughs> still live shrimps. You know what I mean? It was just a weird reaction. Weird reaction. Uh, Twyler is irked. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. That's very nice of you to say, girl. Appreciate it. Oh, denim in Thailand. Amazing choice. Well, listen, you can take the girl out of court. But you can't take that fucking Canadian uh, tuxedo out of the girl, eh? Or it would be a Canadian tuxedo. She could find jeans on this planet Earth that would fit her. Bloopy bloop. Zoot flute for BBJ. Thank you for the super chat. Where should I stay in Montreal in December? There's only one real answer. Old Montreal. You have to, you got to stay close to the cobblestones because there's nothing more adorable than the snow is falling it's a little romantic in the air and you're in that section of Montreal that looks like you're in some like old timey France village or some shit. It's everything is so goddamn old down there and there's cobblestone streets and it's adorable. That's where you got to stay for sure. No doubt. No question. Uh, Mota six. We don't even have that. <laughs> Stop bullying me. Bullies in the chat. Bunch of jerks. West Coast girl. Thank you for the super chat. She bought a pack of cheese stuffed hot dogs from 7-Eleven. Right, the bag of hot dogs. The sounds of her eating them was beyond disgusting. He was at the beginning of the vlog. Okay, but is that really the reason, the real reason that she deleted it? Because all her eating sounds are fucking disgusting and she never deletes shit. So I'm just, I'm just questioning. It could be, but I would love to see it. We'll see. Oh. Oh, how nice. The Marriott in Old Montreal has a triple shower. Three rain shower heads. Oh, perfect location, perfect shower. Sounds like a good place to go in December. Very nice. No, wait. No. Harry Bootle, good name. She said, I love halal wieners when she ate them. She did not. Did she really? If she said that, that's why she deleted it, okay? It's nothing to do with sounds. Salad probably said, hey, delete this. The sausages were halal, she says. Yeah, well, she I mean, she says a lot, and I take it with a grain of salt. So unless I see some sign on the package that says that they're halal, I'm not taking her word for anything. Does anyone have a copy? I'm going to go looking. Ooh, I wonder if Kiwi, you know Kiwi Farms? Sometimes like grabs a, a whole video and sometimes they put it like, uh, or put it, how can I explain this? It's like they put it a few hours later, but it wasn't grabbed a few hours later. It was grabbed in the morning, in the moment. Does that make sense? So maybe the version, if Kiwi Farms has one, would have it. Marley Hendricks has it. Interesting. Okay. Let me go. No, I don't, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I would say, let's watch it, but fuck it. Everybody go after our stream and go and watch it on Marley Hendricks's channel. Okay. And we can discuss tomorrow what we think it is. All right. Or even tomorrow we'll watch it together, but we're not going to go over it on like a new video that nobody has. You know what I mean? If you want to watch it tonight, go over everybody to Marley Hendricks's channel and, and watch it. Give it a thumbs up. You know what I mean? Support the channel for sure. For sure. Uh, tomorrow we'll watch it together. We'll discuss. All right. But after the stream shit, I'm going to watch it right away. That's for damn sure. Good catch, by the way, Marley Hendricks. Uh, Adrian, thank you for the super chat. He was grossed out by her pouring sweat, not the pad tie. You think that's what it is still? He didn't want to try the pad tie because she was sweating all up in the plate. I believe that. 
But after in that live stream she did, she had asked him about trying another pad thai. And he was like, no, 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 never again in my life. Or so, something like that, he said. So I don't know. Was it really the sweat or did he really find he was that offended by pad thai? Kind of weird. She said something about, oh, it's rice noodles. He's never had rice noodles before a fair. But like you eat a shit ton of rice. I don't know. I don't know. It's very much giving tall Pete's vibes. You know what I mean? Just saying. <laughs> anyway, y'all, listen, those are the two videos. We are caught up in Chantopolis. Apparently there's another video, right? Because she did uh, eating something else that's getting its own video. I think y'all are definitely right. It's the durian that's going to get its own video. And I'm very curious to see how the two of them react to that. So fingers crossed. Inshallah. Maybe she puts that shit up tonight. I don't know. I don't want to rub it in one last time, but I'm going to rub it in one last time. As you guys know, many of us over here in the Western world, woo, North America specific, we woo, woo, have a long weekend. So tomorrow, I won't be home all day, but I, we will be around, okay? So maybe we'll have a stream at a really random ass hour in the middle of the afternoon or God only knows. And we will watch the clip that she deleted and see about those hot, the bag of hot dogs, okay? And hopefully the durian video is up by then. <laughs> for tonight, everyone, we are caught up in real time. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I apologize for how kind of wrecked in the brain I am today. I promise you it's not that high. It's exhaustion. Genuine, fucked up exhaustion. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to sleep a long ass time and wake up back to my bitchy on the ball self tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> so tomorrow... We go in, we, I, as usual, whatever. It was still a good time. I had a good laugh. Thanks, guys. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your night, long weekenders, live it the fuck up. Woo! Sucker's going to work tomorrow. I'm sorry. Wah, wah. Whatever you are doing tonight, enjoy, have fun, be safe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>